How you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video series, we're going to focus on signal flow in Reaper. Signal flow is the path an audio signal takes from source to output, including all the processing involved in generating audible sound from electronic impulses or recorded media. Source signals could be anything from drums, vocals, acoustic guitar, piano, pretty much any acoustic instrument or an instrument that creates sound through the air. In those situations, we would use a mic. Other situations are for recording things like electronic instruments, like keyboards, electric guitars, and bass. These can be plugged in directly, or mic'd, or both. And also there's pre-recorded material that can be pasted or imported right into Reaper for playback. That would include loops, samples, effects, or anything pre-recorded that we want to use in our productions. Output usually ends with a pair of speakers, whether they be headphones, small bookshelf speakers, all the way up to huge playback monitors, and everything in between. It won't do us much good if we can't hear the final sound, but there's a lot that needs to happen in between the sources we use and the final output. And if we're using Reaper, most of it is going to happen inside the software. So we're going to focus on that aspect of Reaper here. So regardless of the type of music or sound that you need to reproduce, learning signal flow is an important part of the process. Many people actually consider it to be the most important part. But either way, understanding where or how our signal flows will help us make better recordings with less distortion and will be the key component of troubleshooting any problems that can occur. So let's take a look how signal flows through Reaper and how we can make the most of it. Let's go.